you know, I was 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 not born in this generation, <laughs> but I have this generation's personality. I need something new, need something change, and do something different. So it works for me perfectly right now. Well, how did you get involved in golf? Because it seemed like you were doing all of these traditional sports, like you know, basketball, football, and then boom, you're on golf. True story. Very people. Few people know, and very few people care, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> Jim Kelly, who was a great announcer at ESPN for many years, was the voice of the senior tour for a very long time. Jim was calling senior tour golf with Andy North, Bob Murphy, and Gary Koch, and had to miss three events for the America's Cup sailing races in San Diego. So when he was out, they needed somebody to fill in, so they asked me if I would do it. I had no experience calling golf. They figured that I wouldn't screw it up. And I went, and Andy North and Gary Koch and Bob Murphy were phenomenal. They're a big reason that I didn't sink, and I was able to swim a little bit through it. And after the three events, then my boss from ESPN went to ABC. They were reinventing their golf coverage in 97. So I said, well, we want you to come sit in the tower with Curtis Strange. So here I was, 30 years old, and trying to figure that out, which was the uh, biggest experience in my life, because it was network TV, it was 18th Tower, Curtis Strange, Bob Rosberg, God rest his soul, Judy Rankin, Steve Melnick, a whole bunch of cool people. Got to work with Jim McKay on a couple of British Opens along the way. And that's what really gave me the profile to start doing football and all the other junk that has followed since then. 30 years old in 97, that makes us roughly the same age. You jerk! <laughs> jerk! Whoa. All this stuff, you've done Monday Night Football, you've done Sunday Night Football. You've I just turned 50. Oh, okay, you're a lot older than I I'm very insulting. <laughs>